Hey Switch fans, are you tired of using your Nintendo Switch in handheld mode? Did the Joy-Cons never, have they never quite been the same after they experienced Joy-Con drift? Does the distance that it takes to get to your screen feel like it's a little bit too small? Well, the people at Fixture Gaming have released the Fixture S1, and the goal with that is to make your gaming experience a bit more enjoyable. Um, the idea being that with this relatively simple, um, you know, plastic fixture that has a nice hinge on it, that you're able to play using your Pro Controller instead, and then once you do that, using the using the hinge on it, you can readjust the screen so that it so that it uh, is at a better angle, optimum for you gaming. Um, you know, for me. Definitely the uh, Joy-Con drift issue with my uh, with my Joy-Con. I sent it into Nintendo. It was better for a little while, but um, you know, if I'm really playing something where the goal is to be precise, it just it just doesn't quite cut it. Um, yeah, you know, the small small little stubby joysticks and stuff like that. I you know I, I appreciate the design behind the the Switch and Joy Cons, but um, it's not the optimum way to play. And as much as I play, you know, I'm going to use the Pro Controller at any given opportunity. So, you know, before, if I wanted to play using my, you know, if I didn't have my docking station, if I wanted to play, uh, I would have to use the kickstand. Another, it's nice um, to have the kickstand on the Switch, but its flimsiness and lack of options um, hardly make it ideal. Now, uh, I do appreciate the... Uh, the uh, switchblade design, which I have as well, and you know, those are relatively recommended. <clears throat> but this is an entirely different animal. Um, you know, the fact that I can have this and hold this, uh, and then really you can, once you, um, one second, once you adjust this, uh, shoot, sorry, <laughs> once you adjust this, uh, the hinge, um, the screen actually, you can get it pretty close to yourself. So it actually, in a way, when you're playing handheld, it almost feels like you're, you know, this has been zoomed, um, you know, because it's getting closer and closer to your face. And really, you know, to get that immersive experience, an extra, you know, inch or two closer to your face makes all the difference. Um, it is pretty sturdy. Um, when you um, put the, you know, really all it takes, you'll have to, um, this, you have to sort of pivot this, you, um, you end up pulling sliding the um sliding the switch using the rails is what it's holding onto. So I mean this thing is you know your switch isn't gonna fall. Um and then for the uh for the for the uh pro controller itself, um, you know, these are the supports on the bottom, the support on the top sort of comes over the top. When you put it in you have to actually push pretty firmly and it's gonna pop pretty pretty uh loudly into place. So um you know I can yeah, you know, this is one-handed. I'm you know shaking the hell out of this. It's not going anywhere. Um, I suppose long term, maybe there might be a question of um, whether or not the uh, plastic, whether it could become brittle. Yeah, you know, but that, I mean that's probably quite a substantial amount of time away um, before that would happen, uh, or that it would weaken or in some way you know not be as optimum. But you know I've been playing using this you know quite a number of hours. It's comfortable um, now. You know, to be to be sure, especially if you put it up uh, like this, um, it's increasing. You know, the relative feel of the weight of what you have, uh, depending on where you're positioning the screen. But you know, it's the convenience and the uh, improved you know vision that you have as you get the screen a little bit closer. It's a pretty great experience um, playing portably. Probably the best Switch portable experience uh, that I've had. Uh, just because, you know, I it sort of checks all the boxes for the optimum play. It makes my screen as big as possible. I can use my Pro Controller. Uh, there's really not a downside. Uh, so if you've been, you know, sort of suffering the way I have, uh, you know, at the thought of using your Switch in handheld mode, I'd say this is really, you know, this is what you're going to want to check out. Uh, like I said, it's uh, available through Fixture Gaming. Um, I believe it's the only product they have for the moment. But, um, you know, for, for their first Switch product, uh, this is definitely a strong 
strong contender coming out of the gate of something you really want to check out if you find yourself playing on the road quite a bit. Uh, this has been Justin Nation for Nindy Spotlight, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.